Have any of you guys ever heard of Camp Fimfo? Neither had we. We're here in the hill country of Texas, about 12 miles off of I-35, and we've been staying here for the last several days for the Switch It Up huddle. Let's give you a tour around this beautiful park. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end to see some of the things that we really didn't like about this place. Let's go check it out. Come on. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. Are we there yet? According to the sign, we are there yet. Yippee! This is the entrance to Camp Fimfo. If you would have gone to the right, that's for the cabin and tent check-in. And this is the entrance for the RVs. You'll stop here, park, and go into the office to check in. You can get packages delivered here for no extra charge, and they do have golf cart rentals available. Camp Info does have a propane fill station, but it's not quite up and running yet. The name FIMFO is an acronym from what we've heard from the ladies that work in the office. It means fun is more fun outside. So this post is really cool. You can see this metal structure here. This has been under construction since we've gotten here. They're building a suspension kind of uh, bridge section behind here. And it's, it goes up and it makes a turn. And I hope you can see in the background over here behind me, but over here is where the uh, water park and the pool stuff is. So once this gets done, all of this section back here, should be a whole lot of fun for the little kids and some of the bigger kids too. Here's the first loop at Camp Fimbo. There are 28 cabins here. The ones in this loop look like little log cabins. There are also back in RV sites along this loop. This is the two and 300 uh, camping loops. Uh, as you can see, there are quite a few spots down below. And the closer up here towards the road as, that you can get, the better of a view you can have as you see over there at the rolling hills here in Texas Hill Country. Camp Fimfo is the 2022 Camp Spot Awards winner, top for families and top for design. It is conveniently located in the Texas Hill Country, 30 miles from San Antonio and 37 miles from Austin. It's near New Braunfels and Green, Texas. You guys might actually recognize this RV. And this is the reason we're actually at Camp Fimfo this week. The Switch It Up Huddle is here, and we are having a great time hanging out with Todd and Sheila and all the Switch Up crew. And here's our site. We're in site 322. We wish we would have been up the hill a little ways further, just so we could have had a bit better of a view, but we did have a fairly decent view, as hopefully you guys saw in our community tab. We're here in the 400 loop now, and you can see it's a different type of cabin. 
And there are three types of cabins here. You saw the first one that was like a log home. And you see these little cabins. And then we'll show you later the ones down by the river. Now we're here in the 500 loop. These are all back ends. There are 227 RV sites here at Camp Fimfo. There is also a tent camping area. We were here in April of 2022. There are several discount packages depending on your length of stay. Check the website for details. There is a 10% military discount on weekday stays. You guys may notice the trash bags on the sides there close to uh, every site. They have trash pickup here, guys. So when you're done with your, your trash or you fill your bag up, you leave it outside by on your yard and they come by in a golf cart, pick it up, take it away. amenities here at Camp Info. Here is a jumping pad, basketball court, tennis court, and after we go around the corner you'll see many more. Camp Info does have an 18-hole mini golf course called the Prickly Par. the Five Falls Mining Company where you can do some mining for gems. Right out here outside of the general store they have a game court complete with Jenga, some checker connect four type games and a few others with a nice little grassy astroturf area to play the games. Camp Info even has a bar up by the pool, including one in the pool. This one is called Squirrelies. And behind me is the filling station snack bar. You can get some munchies after a nice day of swimming. Here is the pool area with the no dive bar, the swim up bar here at Camp Finfo. It looks like in the pool they also have a volleyball net set up and it also is kid friendly here uh, even though it has the bar. And right next door over here is going to be the water park. And here's the water park side. They have a few slides, some water cannons and that tower there uh, every so often it'll release a couple of whistle blasts and a whole bunch of water pours out of that onto the kids waiting down below to get soaked. This is one of the three bathhouses. Two of the bathhouses also have laundry rooms. There are men and women's with showers and toilets. And just down the hill a few yards from the bathhouse, we have this uh, playground area. A little jungle gym section here. Over here they have swings.
This is the section of the Guadalupe River that runs through Camp Fimfo. You can see people enjoying tubing down the river, a little bit of rapids here, and just a beautiful view to hang out down by the river. We called these cabins earlier in the video, but they're actually little trailers. They're A-frame trailers that you can rent like a cabin. They have a few steps up, a nice little porch here. And then on the back side, looking over, over at the river here, you have a couple of chairs, a fire ring, a picnic table, and a really nice barbecue. Let me tell you, we have really enjoyed our time here at Camp Info. We really want to come back. We were limited in what we could do because we have the puppy and so we couldn't enjoy the pool and stuff. But one of these days we're coming back. The pool is great. They have so many amenities, even more than we've listed. The campsites are nice. Um, the river is beautiful. Just so much to do. Now for what we don't like. <laughs> for me, what I don't like is the sites. Although they're brand new and they're paved, they're just not level at all, guys. Our uh, momentum, when we self-leveled that thing, it went all the way up on the camping side to where two of our tires are off the ground by about an inch. I'll put some footage in here so you can see what, that, what that's like. And I've heard a lot of complaints from some of the other people that are here uh, of the same exact problem. So it's not just our site, it seems to be um, campground wide, which is really strange to me. Another thing, that uh, is not good is that they charge for the golf carts. They charge a lot, and I'm not gonna say a price because it's different price, different days, different seasons, but that's always nice to be able to rent a golf cart, but you cannot bring your own golf cart. So it's their camp, their rules, but that's just one thing we don't like. <laughs> yep, and we probably wouldn't have rented a golf cart anyway, but just know if you're coming here and you have a golf cart, you might wanna go ahead and leave it at home Another thing that we did not mention, it is right next to the Whitewater Amphitheater. So it'd be a great time to come for concerts, unless you don't like loud music. I don't know how loud it gets at night here during the concerts because it's right here next door. Um, but I'd like to come. Willie Nelson's gonna be here next month. That's right. Here. I bet you could sit right here down by the river and listen to the concert from here. It would be it would be awesome. And you can probably tell from behind us and some of the noise that there are people uh, tubing down the river all the time. Uh, right outside the uh, the park, there's a whole bunch of tubing uh, companies. They'll take you up, up river and they'll drop you off and then you can float all the way back down, get out right back at the tubing company and go home. A lot of people doing it all the time here, guys. Well, if you're still here, thanks for sticking around till the end. We'll see you next time on Jarhead and Ginger's Journey. Bye, Bye guys.